This is the new MPEG SGTDI, an all in one solution in a convenient compact package for your pedal board. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Base the World. My name is Kiko Fries and on Base I'm accompanied by my buddy Kai Lemke today. This is a really exciting new pedal from Ampeg. It has amp models of their SVT and their Vintage Legend to B15 built in, as well as cabinet simulations of a 115, a 4x10 and an 8x10 cabinet, plus a compressor and their SGT drive to add some distortion. You can also load your own impressive responses and I mean just damn, does it look cool. When my contact at MPEG sent me this pedal a few weeks ago, I got really excited. I mean, really excited. Unfortunately, I had to sign an NDA, so I couldn't talk to anyone about it. I mean, they really knocked it out of the park with this one. We've seen a good bunch of pedals like this from other brands, but getting one from MPEG, which is arguably the most important bass and manufacturer of all times, is of course something really special. Let's dive into the details, but first let's hear the SGT, which is the built-in distortion. <laughs> foot switches, one for the preamp section, one for the drive. Then we got five controls, which makes the pedal look very clean. But to add some functionality, three of them are stacked knobs, which I love. The first on the left is volume and the one knob compressor. Then we have bases, mids with mid frequency, treble and grid, which is the amount of distortion with a level control. Underneath this row, we have mini toggles to choose the amp, the cabinet and the classic MPEG ultra low and ultra high switches. These are protected by a metal bar, so you don't accidentally change their settings when you're jumping around on stage with your Birkenstocks. I'm not sure if that's possible, but the in and output situation impresses me even more than the controls. Let's start on the right side. We have two, yes, two AUX inputs. One mono, one stereo and a level control that comes out if you push it in. On the back we got a bass input, a through if you want to run a parallel pedal chain or use an amp without the sounds of this pedal. This is also perfect for recording. Next is the 9 volt 500 milliamps power in and a preamp out. It's the same line out as before, but this time including the preamp sounds. The last one is an extra line out that can also be used as a headphone out. On the left side of the pedal sits the XLR DIO that you will need live or for recording to grab your signal. It comes with a ground lift switch and another one to select either the internal cabinet simulations, your own impulse response or no cap sim at all. Then we have a cap level control and last but not least we have a USB-C port to load your impulse responses and such things. What else could such a pedal even have? And I'm amazed how they managed to include everything you will ever need, but still kept it so incredibly clean looking. What a great design. And I love this. <laughs> But it's 
not just the exterior design, it, this pedal is also incredibly satisfying to use. The amp and the cabinet simulations sound great and are instantly recognizable. They really did an amazing job with this one. Sorry MPEG, but I don't think I'll be able to send this back. So here it is, MPEG takes over the all-in-one pedal market. Of course, loads of brands have captured MPEGs and put them in pedals. Some are good, some not so much. This here is a statement, MPEG is still going strong and I'm very much looking forward to hear your impressions once you've all got to try one out. And if you want to get one today, check the links in the video description below. That's it from me, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you got some time, why don't stay and watch some more? Bye! Facebook.